Recently, we talked about Denver being one of the hottest apartment markets in the country in spite of a lot of apartment construction, and the exact same thing can be said about Seattle. Lots of supply, yet lots of rent growth. Welcome to Apartment Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons, your Seattle update. Seattle's economy continues to grow at a very good pace, and it's adding the types of jobs that tend to be very good for the apartment business. Younger, educated folks with upper incomes in industries like tech. And that has created enough of a tailwind that Seattle thus far has had little trouble absorbing a lot of new product. In fact, take a look at supply and demand levels annually going back the past four years, and you can see that demand returned to the marketplace in big numbers back in early 2010, at which point supply was still quite meaningful. Uh, demand continued out supply for 15 straight quarters, even as supply ramped back way up. And you can see, though, that that streak did come to an end in Q4 of 13. Demand came in just a hair below supply, but still very healthy relative to that volume of supply. So with that being the case, occupancy remains very strong at 95.7%. That's down only 10 basis points year over year, definitely better than expected. And as you might expect, occupancy would be higher if not for new supply in the marketplace. In fact, in the same store data set, Set, which excludes new completions, occupancy did inch up in 2013, which tells us that the, the new supply is not taking away demand for existing product. But what is perhaps even more impressive is that operators aren't pulling back on rent growth levels in order to compete with all this new development. Same store rents for new leases were up 5.5% in 2013. That was the sixth largest hike in the country behind only the Bay Area trio plus Denver and Portland. And here are the five submarkets with the biggest rent hikes in 2013. Everett up north in geography and in the rankings with rents up 8%, followed by South Seattle, Kirkland Bothell, Kent Auburn, and the Federal Way, Des Moines area. Now, most of those spots don't have a lot of construction aside from Kirkland Bothell. Let's take a look at the five most active construction hotspots and the rent growth levels in each of them in 2013. In town Seattle, nearly 4,000 units underway on top of about 2,500 units that completed in 2013, and rents still up 4.7%. Very impressive. The other big one is next door, the Capitol Hill University District Ballard area, nearly 3,000 units underway on top of about 1,300 units that completed in 2013. Rent still up 5.5% year over year. And similar stories in the Linwood area, West Bellevue, as well as Kirkland Bothell, which you mentioned earlier. So the big question is, how long can rents continue to climb at these kind of levels given the supply numbers that we're seeing? Uh, supply will actually increase even further in 2014, about 10,000 units on track to complete in 2014, the most in more than two decades for the metro Seattle area. Clearly, there will be some effect on occupancy and rents. The question is how much? And the good news is that Seattle has two things going for it. Number one, demand has been strong and those tailwinds look very good. And number two, Seattle has some smart apartment operators who have not been afraid to keep pushing rents um, and, and, haven't been a, and haven't been overreacting to increasing supply. So our view is that rent growth levels do cool down a little bit, but remain pretty strong. Uh, where MPF is forecasting rent growth of 3.8% in 2014, which should still be among the better performances in the country. And that wraps it up for Seattle. So until next time, for Apart Mark Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.